I have two koozies in front of me. One of them says Wicked Pissa. One of them has the Suicide Prevention Hotline in on it. Hey, as the uh, as the uh, as we warm up uh, for Game Seven of the two uh, of the 2024 Stanley Cup Finals, the uh, we have gotten the news that the Bruins have officially traded and Linus Allmark to the uh, to the Ottawa Senators. If the return is good, we're drinking out of the Wicked Pissa koozie. If the return is bad, we're drinking out of the uh, we're drinking out of the suicide prevention hotline and koozie. And look where we are now. We have gotten the return and Are you fucking kidding me? Here's the full extent of the trade. The Bruins trade in goaltender Linus Olmark to the you know, Ottawa Senators. That is all that we give up. The Bruins in return get uh, get center Mark Kastelik, uni goaltender Eunice Corpusallo uh, with his salary 25% retained by Ottawa and the uh, and and Ottawa's later 20 uh, 24 first round on pick, the 25th overall pick. This sucks. This, this really sucks. This really sucks. For a plethora of reasons. A Are you fucking kidding me? Now, now, what, now, what do I think of the trade? Now, what do I think of the trade? It actually, well, I just, well, I just told you. It sucks. It sucks. And it's not, it, it and this is a, and the tough part is, this is a trade that needed to happen. We needed to get rid of Allmark because, uh, because what we need is to, you know, what we need needed was to shed uh, was to shed the contract uh, of of Allmark enough to where we can in comfortably sign uh, enough to where we can comfortably sign in in both uh, both Jake DeBrusque and and Jeremy Swayman. Although I feel the need to mention. That getting the uh, that getting a five million dollar goalie to replace a five million dollar goalie uh, uh, does not mean that we have uh, shed any sort of salary enough to uh, to comfortably sign either of these players. So yeah, the the, the trade sucks. And the frustrating, and people are saying, oh, the, uh, and some people might say, oh, the first round pick uh, isn't so bad, and at least we're at least we're picking the first round again. The problem is, the first round pick was our original first round pick. We traded the damn thing to Detroit for uh, Tyler Bertuzzi in uh, in the 2023 uh, at the 2023 deadline. Detroit flips that pick to Ottawa for the uh, for Alex Dabrinkit, and now Ottawa flips it back down to us for Lena Solmark. What a uh, what a circus, and circus is right because uh, because the only people oh, that would think this is a good deal are fucking clowns. Castellick is Castellick is like a third line center. Castellick is like, like a third line center, and you know what? If we're not uh, if it means that if it means that means that Geeky is no longer uh, for, forced to play center, I'm fine with that. But now we just have a logjam of uh, of bottom six centers. We have Kastelik, we have Patra, we have Beecher. I think uh, I I'm pretty sure we also have Boakvist under contract for another year, or otherwise, uh, or else he's an RFA. And I really don't know oh, if we're gonna bring him back. But regardless, we have a logjam of, of bottom six centers. You know who we could have gotten with it. You know who we could have gotten with this trade. We could have. We probably could have gotten Shane Pinto. We probably could have gotten Shane Pinto, and I would have been just fine with getting Shane Pinto or like freaking Josh Norris, Pinto or Norris, just one of those thirty goal scorers. One of them, please. Just give me one of. Just give me a top line center, for the love of God. Or at the very least, hold out. Either hold out, or maybe even throw in pieces, enough to get enough to get you all the way up into the top ten. I have been ta I talked about this on uh, on Will Snipes Ellie earlier today. A, a, you should be uh, with a Vesna winner, a, ve a Vesna.
Lesnar winner in his prime. Him. Him. You should be able to hold out for a deal that is good enough to get you up to number seven overall and get you Ty again. If the, if, if all that were, if all that we got in this trade was Ty again, I would have been just fine. I would have been, I would have been thrilled. I would have been thrilled if that was the case. But no, we, we decided to, we decided to give up our, give up our Vesna winning goalie to have, uh, to have Eunice Corpusallo, who is on the second worst contract that a uh, that a goaltender in the National Hockey League is uh, signed to uh, right now. Oh, the only person who the only goalie I think is think that's uh, it's on a worse deal is uh, is probably Jack is probably Jack Campbell. Oh, well, well, and yes, Ottawa uh, Ottawa retained twenty five percent. Ottawa retained twenty five percent. But what's Castle? Uh, but what the hell is Castellix? Uh, contract realistically all that you saved with uh, all that you got with this trade is you save is you saved like four hundred thousand dollars and there's and got uh, and got your first round pick back whoop the fucking do whoop the fucking do oh we got a bottom six center a goalie that at this point is probably a backup uh and a three and a three point seven five and a three point seven five million dollar backup at that, and our first round pick back, a late first round pick, a twenty fifth overall first round pick. And am I upset that am I upset that we that we're picking the first round again? No, I'm not upset. I'm upset that everything else was terrible. I think I think honestly, I was just talking about this with my with my dad. You cut, you cut out Corpusalo. You move up to, you make sure that pick is seven, or, or, you you bite the bullet on, you bite the bullet on the first round, and you say fuck it, we go to the second round, we go to the second round, and you get Shane Pinto or Josh Norris. You get one of those two players, or hell, you, or hell, you you even go for oh, on oh, on defense and get Artem Zub. Artem Zub, just get Artem Zub. I don't think I don't I don't necessarily want to get Jacob Chikrin. And maybe you get Chikrin. I, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm a little bit of a uh, hater, but, uh, uh, but at the same time, I don't think that it's necessarily a bad thing, uh, a bad thing to get Chikrin. And, but the returns, the return for this trade sucks. The return for this trade sucks. Thanks. And that's the only thing that sucks about it, really. Yeah. Am I happy that the saga is over? Kind of. But am I, uh, am I happy with what, what we got? Hell no. Hell no. <sighs> all that we can really do, all that we can really do is just hope that we, uh, hope that we end up uh, getting something good with this first, uh, with this first round pick. Yeah. I'm, uh, I haven't looked at the prospects coming in, in, in too heavily. Yeah. And that's something that I probably should do. But it's not, uh, no, oh, but I can't stop thinking that like we could have, we probably could have uh, lobbied this in a way that uh, that would have ensured Ty Ginla as in in a spoke fee, and I would have loved that. I would have loved that, and everybody in Boston would would have loved that. I doubt this is the best best offer that Sweeney could have gotten, and especially from the Senators, especially from the Senators. Yes. Now I'm also hearing that the uh, now I'm also hearing that. Uh, they had to get it done now uh, to avoid a a one million dollar bonus that would have uh, been given to Allmark uh, in this uh, because of this uh, on Saturday, uh, which Saturday would have been too late uh, to do it anyway. Saturday would have been too late to do it anyway. First uh, first round of the draft is uh, is Friday. We would uh, that would have been a stupid time to do the draft uh, on Saturday. Uh, I don't care. I don't care. You. This 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 return sucks. This return sucks. Thanks. Thanks. I don't think Don. Uh, I really don't think Don Sweeney was. Uh, uh, was. Uh, Could have got. Uh, I really don't think Don Sweeney. Uh, uh, got uh, got the best that he could have uh, in this one. And, and and anybody who's saying oh uh, oh it's because he had a down year. Dude was still like top ten in. In, in goals against average. Dude was still like top 10 in, 
in save percentage. Huge. Stop hating just because just because uh, someone who had uh, one of the best seasons a goalie has ever had it uh, uh, ends up not putting up uh, that same level the very next season. Uh, like congratulations, you found out what a career year is. Uh, is uh, is go jump uh, go jump into a vat of battery acid and about it. Uh, so where does it leave uh, the Bruins now? Well, we still need to re-sign Jeremy Swayman. We still need to re-sign Jeremy Swayman, and with this, we have we have officially eh, freed up four hundred thousand dollars in cap space. Not much. We have we did not do much uh, in terms of that, in terms of freeing up cap with this. But we did also oh, just sign Brandon Boosie to a you know, one-year two-way uh, two-way contract at League Men, and I I could potentially see eh, Corpus Allo uh, Corpus Allo being uh, being a guinea pig for uh, to allow uh, uh, to allow uh, uh, I could potentially see Corpus Allo being a canary in the coal mine to allow uh, Boosie to uh, to come up to the uh, to the bigs uh, hell even freaking try and uh, even freaking try and leverage uh, Corpus Allo at the deadline if he if he's actually having a good season I don't uh, the point is I don't want Eunice Corpus Allo in a, in a spoke B hey but regardless, he isn't one, and we have to, and we just have to have to accept it. But that this is uh, uh, this is this is basically uh, uh, this Ottawa Senators uh, Ottawa Senators fans rejoice, rejoice in this. Yes. You signed a ter you signed a really bad contract uh, with that Corpus Allo uh, deal uh, when it happened. I e even as someone who likes Eunice Corpus Allo, I knew that it was going to be a terrible contract. Uh, Corpus Allo is something you give like three million to. You don't give him five mil for uh, got five mil for five years. That's not something you do to Eunice Corpus Allo. Oh, oh. So, uh, uh, so congratulations. You have. You have officially found your number one, uh, your number one goaltender, uh, uh, while shedding uh, while shedding a pretty uh, a pretty bad contract, uh, and retaining uh, and retaining only like one and a quarter uh, one and a quarter every single year for the next like three or four years. Boohoo, uh, boohoo. We all have dead cap at some point. Mm. Mm. But uh, but on top of this, you got one of the best goaltenders in the game. You got one of the best goaltenders in uh, in the game. Do I uh, now? Do I think that you have the pieces to uh, to go anywhere? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that uh, I think that your defense is still oh, kind of bare bone. It's still pretty bare bones. I still think that you're. Uh, I think that your. Uh, uh, I think that your defense is still pretty bare bones. I st still think that you need a little bit more on depth. Uh, but ultimately, be happy. Be happy with this. Be happy with this. You get, uh, you be, uh, you, uh, you shedded a bet, you shedded a bad contract, and you, uh, and you gave up a, uh, a bottom six, uh, center, uh, and gave us back our first round pick for, a, uh, uh, for an elite goaltender. Uh, uh, woe is you. No. Oh. All that I ask is if you're gonna re-sign him, be kind, be kind to him. Be kind to him. The amount of the amount of uh, the amount of people in Boston that chat on him um, um, last year and this year when he wasn't really uh, uh, when last year he couldn't uh, he he couldn't completely backstop us into uh, uh, all the way to a cup uh, because the dude was dealing with a freaking groin injury uh, and this year when he wasn't uh, playing at a nine three nine in the entire season. And, and Bruins fans got pissed. Don't be us. Be better. Be better and 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 treat Allmark and treat Allmark well. Now, Bruins fans, dilly dilly. <laughs>